Hi guys. What are we gonna do today? Well, I think we're gonna do some fun heart box today. Do you guys wanna see how we did this? Let's get started. So here's the template we're gonna be using to make this folded heart. And I have colors on it, so you need to, if you print it in color, it makes it a lot easier. And this is gonna show you your black lines are your cut lines, your blue lines are your valley folds, which go in like a valley, your red lines are your mountain folds that go up like a mountain. So after you've gotten this downloaded, you're going to print it onto the back of whatever paper you would like to make your heart out of. I'm using this fun paper and I'm gonna embellish this paper first, but you could use just a red cardstock or any paper that you would like to use. I'm going to decoupage some fun paper on, this is a lightweight decoupage paper onto the front. And as you can see, when I lay it down, you can still see some fun images through it. That's why I'm doing this. I'm just gonna cut some of this excess off of here. And this is um, an eight and a half by 11 sheet. Unless you're going to enlarge it or reduce it, that's what you would need. Now, when I decoupage, I'm going to be decoupaging on the front side. Either this or this, the second piece in, is going to be your front. So if there's something in particular you really want on that front, you might wanna look at that. And so I've cut my decoupage paper bigger than my piece, and I am just going to glue this down on here. And if this isn't perfect on here, I'm not too concerned. I just thought that would be fun. And so let's just glue this down. And I'm just using a Mod Podge for this. You can use whatever your favorite medium is for decoupage, if you're going to be decoupaging the front of this. Let me just start at one edge. Mod Podge does dry fairly quickly, so you kind of need to work quickly with this. So we're gonna let this dry for a minute and then we're going to cut our piece out. Okay, so when this is dry, I am gonna cut out on all the black lines. Okay, so when you have this cut out, what we're gonna do next is score on these lines. And you could use a scoreboard, but I think for this is almost easier just to use a straight edge and score where all the lines are. So I just have a cutting board under here because or you want something with some sort of a cush that you can push into and not necessarily on your wood table. So after you've scored all this, now we already know that um, our blue lines are gonna be valley folds, so I'm gonna bring those down. So you have a little valley there. And actually most of these are valley folds. They're just a few mountain folds. And also you could just fold it without scoring it. I just find that it really comes out so much nicer if you've scored it first. And for the mountain folds, we're just bringing these back this way. use a heavy duty double stick tape. You could use glue, you could use hot glue, you could use whatever you would like. I'm gonna put my tape on all the bottom tabs and you should have five at the bottom. I am putting this on the front sides so that when I peel it off, it will go underneath like that. So let's take these off. So I've taken all my, the backing of my tape off on these and all I'm gonna do is start with the center Line that piece over the tab, press down. The other side of the center, same thing. Press down. And then I'm gonna do the two ends the same. Now you can start seeing it come together. And then I'm gonna do my last piece. Pull that in. Line it up. And on this one, I lay it down 
like this and make sure it's lined up and so it's secured nicely. Now this is where you can decide what you want to do. You could also make a hole through here and hang it. Now if you would, if you know you're not going to put anything in and you're just going to hang them, you can adhere both of these pieces to here. But I'm just going to adhere this and this tab to the front and then I can decide, do I want to fill it? Do I just want to make a hole and push some string and tie it? Or what I'd like to do? So I have that option. So I'm going to use my double stick tape again and put these two ends on. And once again, lay it down because I don't want to squish it too hard. And just carefully put my finger in there to make sure it's adhered. And let's do the same with this other side right here. And you can see I have my writer on the front, but you could use either side for the front. And now you can decide whether you want to close it, fill it, or make a little hole and just hang it. So I hope you thought this was fun and easy. And you know on these ones, we had added tissue paper on top to decorate them, but you could even just use a very, very pretty color paper, make these up. And if you don't want to seal them up right away, you could just leave this top open, fill it full of goodies, make a hole and hang them. Well, I hope you guys give this a try, but whatever you do, have fun.